That's 1045 on St. Patrick's Day. I'm at 53rd and 5th Avenue waiting for this St. Patrick's Day parade, which hasn't existed here in New York for three years. It'd be great to see it back here. Great to see the Irish spirit back here in Manhattan. And it's a dreary day today, but in a way it's kind of good because it's kind of an Irish atmosphere. The damp climate. So in a way it's actually better than a sunny St. Patrick's Day, but not everyone will agree. the greatest day for bike riding but they have a job to do. All right, here they come. This is one huge parade. Past parades I've been here started 11, 3 o'clock it was still going on. 3.30 it was still going on. This is an enormous parade. You can bet the pooper scoopers are going to be out big time behind this entourage of horses. Happy St. Patrick's Day! would be a total failure without these guys. The marchers would have pretty messy shoes. Happy St. Patrick's. Great to see this again after three years. This is what it's all about. Living life to the fullest. You know, watching these parades, I'm just reminded of this story I heard about this uh, Irish lass. Her name was Erin. And she was a really well-preserved young woman. Very attractive woman all the way through. She had a great shape top to bottom. And when Erin wore a blouse, <laughs> that's all she wore was a blouse. So it offended a lot of the old, old timers in this Irish town and they often complained and they talked to her relatives and her mother and they would kind of turn the other cheek about it. Finally, they just got so fed up with her prancing around like that. And finally they... Finally, they got on the mother's case, and the mother confronted Erin, dressed the way she is, and she said, Erin, go bra. <laughs> Interesting story, eh? Right now, it's just cloudy, no rain, maybe a little drizzle, but I'm standing under a scaffold. It's not bad at all. Here comes the 69th Regiment, Fighting 69th Regimental Headquarters Group. Oh, 
That's what I came to hear, the pipes. the more popular bagpipe bands in this parade is the Emerald Society, New York Police Department Pipe Band. They're usually near the front. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. about Aaron before. <laughs> and this is the Paramus Police Department pipe band. Notice the drum major signals for the players to stop playing. You hit two beats on the bass drum. That's the signal to stop. Jackson Liberty High School Band from Jackson, New Jersey. a band from the great state of Pennsylvania. Eastern area, high school, Eastern Pennsylvania. Borders the Delaware River between Phillipsburg, New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania. Gloomy weather isn't stopping these people. my granddaughter. Granddaughter Hills from the Philippines. Easton is the first place you'll see most of the time.
Johnson has an impressive band. Wow. Huge band. say Eastern Pennsylvania wanted to make a big impression here today. I think they succeeded. St. Patrick's Day Honor Guard, first responders and essential workers. These people deserve a huge amount of credit the last couple of years. Great going guys. And next is the New York City Police Department Police Band. Detective Stephen McDonald Ben's Prayer Group from the Cathedral of St. Agnes in Rockville Center, Long Island. New York Rangers hat. All right, here they come. This is the one I was waiting for. City of New York Police Department, Emerald Society Pipes and Drums. A fellow by the name of Kevin is the drum major. He's in seventh heaven. He hasn't done this in years, and now he's back in business. And he does parades all over the United States, Canada, even overseas.
From Major Kevin McCarthy and his Emerald Society NYPD pipe band. They sound great as always. New York's finest. Some cadets here, I take it. I should point out that the drum major, Kevin McCarthy, has appeared in several movies. One of them was The Departed. He had a rather secondary role there as a police officer. Ah. London Bobbies. woman wearing a checkered cap made famous by the Chicago Police Department well I should say London came before Chicago as far as that goes the Emerald Society, Police Department, City of New York. Well, here's the Zaverian High School in Brooklyn, Pipe and Drums. State Police here. New York State Troopers. Well, if you want to go speeding on the highway right now, this would be a great time to do it. There won't be anybody to stop you. <laughs> I'm sure they have fillings. Every state police seems to have a different design on the uniforms. It's more look like cowboy hats. I'm rather fond of the Smokey the Bear hat. I find that that really looks awesome on a state trooper uniform. Probably far away as Montauk or Ripley, New York. Ripley is along Lake Erie, west of Westfield. It's practically in Erie, Pennsylvania. A good 500 miles from here. 
It's a big state. Okay, here comes the pipes and drums from the New York State Courts. Some Civil War soldiers behind this. From New Jersey. Emerald Society, the Port Authority Police, established in 1965. Light bands everywhere. comes a band that's right up the street from me, North Babylon High School. They're attractive blue and black uniforms. I've always thought that com combination of colors was very dynamic. Sharp-looking uniforms.
fantastic parade that's only just getting started. <laughs> I've never seen the end of the parade because I've never waited around long enough to see it. This can't be Aer Lingus flight attendants. I would think they'd wear green uniforms. <laughs> Lots of electricity here. The crowds are super enthusiastic. And why not? It's been three years. It's all I can do to keep from jumping out over this fence and marching with these people. Who is this? Light. Local 3 International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Couldn't agree more. I got a big gap, take a break. All right, the parade is resuming again after a unexplained 20 minute gap in the parade. Big hole. I've never seen that before in previous parades. But everyone here knew that the parade was not over. <laughs> These are the Emerald Society pipe and drums from the New York City Fire Department. They have nice, attractive fire engine red uniforms. Bands in this parade too. Did you notice the drummer banging on the bass drum twice? That signals the band to stop playing. Happy hey, St. happy St. Patrick's Day! Yeah. Ooh, look at all these American flags. Local 854 AFL-CIO, New York City Uniform Fire Officers Association. A lot of green here.
comes the Seaford Long Island High School Band. We have a family from Seaford who want to see their child in this band. Excited people here today, both on the sidewalks and in the street. That's oh, great. It's great. It makes you proud to be Irish. My uh, paternal grandfather was from County Cork, and my maternal grandfather was from Sligo, Northwest Ireland. So I've never been there, but I know I would love it. Westchester Emerald Society pipe band. Come on, play something. When the major the drum major raises the baton, that's the signal to start playing. Fire Department Emergency Medical Service. They have their own pipe band also.
St. Patrick is smiling down on us, keeping the rain away. It's only been a light rain at the very worst so far. Fire alarm dispatchers. IAFF Local 4959. I got another little gap here, not as long as the earlier one. Here we have the United Irish Counties Association. mentioned my uh, family was from County Cork. There's also County Limerick. I think there's County Derry. And there's tons that I haven't even thought of. He's here. They're from all over. Abu Dhabi, Perry, Arizona, Sydney, Australia, London. Ottawa, Wexford, Washington, D.C., Chicago. close to my home. Amityville High School Marching Band. represents County Limerick. You know what a Limerick is. There once was a man named O'Reilly, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's what a Limerick is.
come up the state. some of these other counties. Here comes the ancient order of Hibernians from Orange County upstate. Very good pipe bands today, lots of them. I don't know if you remember from the movie The Longest Day, there was a little part in there where I guess it was a Scottish guy playing the pipes, and there were a couple of Irish soldiers sitting nearby, and he says, isn't that the most miserable thing you ever heard in your life? Leave it to an Irishman and play the bagpipes, eh? Now here comes a high school band that comes from Upstate on the Upper Harlem Line, Metro North, Dover Plains, New York. That's between Brewster and Wasaic.
Waterford. I know Waterford is a town in Connecticut near New London, but I don't think that's the one they're talking about. Oh, here comes another pipe band. I think this group represents Donegal County in Ireland. There's a Donegal in Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh, but that's not what they're talking about. Yeah, I've got a lot of Irish blood in me, but believe it or not, I don't like corned beef and cabbage. But I love bangers and Nash and shepherd's pie. I'm not a beer drinker, but you know I don't turn down a glass of wine. Next group, Royal Order of Hibernians from Suffolk County, Long Island, my home county. out of East Islip, New York. About a 20 minute drive from my house. Next pipe band coming is come here a long distance. Sam Zoan pipe band from Galicia, Spain. What a great moment it must be for this group to come here. Beautiful costumes.
banned from my paternal grandfather's home county. County Cork. County Cork Pipe and Drums. Cork, incidentally, is one of the largest cities in Ireland. Here comes the Orange High School Band out of Orange, New Jersey. University. campuses in New York City. Well, here we have a band from Western New Jersey, Vernon, New Jersey. It's been a little while since we saw a pipe band. I'm sure there'll be more of them.
9 p.m. About two hours into this parade and the downpours that the weathermen were predicting haven't happened. Maybe just a drizzle, maybe a couple of raindrops, but it's early yet. No complaints. Came a long way, California. This guy here, he's part of the formation crew. He's really seems to be pushing a lot of people to keep moving. Not sure where they're from. Department pipe band. Okay. Ah, here comes the Suffolk County Emerald Society pipe band. My home county. They look pretty impressive.
This is from Iona College. Got some young Irish dancers here. Westchester County. They're nice looking outfits. bones about it. It's a chilly day. Last couple of days we've had spring-like weather in the 60s here in New York. Today it's only 48 degrees right now, but happily it doesn't look like it's going to rain for the remainder of the parade. God is smiling on this St. Patrick's Day parade here. Here comes the Emerald Society Pipe Band for the New York City Department of Sanitation. <laughs>
comes the Emerald Society Pipe Band from Nassau County, Long Island. It's 50 degrees right now and my fingers feel like they're almost ready to fall off. Believe it or not, tomorrow it's going to be sunny and 72 degrees here. starting to rain. It's not a heavy rain, but this is the first time that it's rained noticeably since I've been here. No pun intended, it's not dampening the spirit of the paraders and the onlookers. Well, here comes a pipe band from Binghamton, New York. The Edward P. Maloney Memorial Pipe Band from Binghamton, New York. You know, you talk about bad weather, that's a city in New York State that's not known for having too much good weather. Pipers from Binghamton are used to this kind of weather. Ah, piece of cake. It's raining. No problem. We're used to it. Get 300 cloudy, rainy days a year. Plumbers and Steam Fitters Local 21 Pipe Band. I know they're used to water, so this shouldn't bother them in the least. They can just pretend it's a slightly leaky pipe. Guard. 
an often overlooked branch of the service, but they serve a very important function. from Hartford, Connecticut. Gotta stand back away from the street. The water's dripping off the scaffolding. has one of the largest St. Patrick's Day parades in New York State. Not nearly as large as this, of course. Those are my two predominant eth uh, eth ethnic groups. Well, this is the hardest it's rained thus far. University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame Club of New York. What a great university Notre Dame is. I know at least one person who won't agree with what I just said. Middletown High School Band from Middletown, New Jersey on the North Jersey Coast.
almost two o'clock. I've been here almost three hours. Between the rain and my cold fingers, I might call it quits pretty soon. But I got plenty. Absolutely wonderful St. Patrick's Day parade. Definitely worth the wait. Definitely tickles my Irish money bone. Scaffolding, the rain has just about stopped, just a little bit. It's the pipes and drums from Hampton, New Jersey. That's out on the uh, Jersey Central Main Line out towards High Bridge. That's past Rarick, New Jersey. New York. Right up Route 110 from me. Good at the pipe. And we have some Rhode Island visitors here. The 
comes a pipe in out of Mineola, Long Island. Can't quite make out what the banner says. Irish American Society of Nassau, Suffolk, and Queens. Mineola, Long Island is where they're based out of. Look at these girls. I bet you they're glad the rain stopped. You don't like to go out and do things in the rain, but this is one day that the rain didn't stop me. Nor did the rain bother me. A true Irishman doesn't let rain dampen their spirits. The pipes keep coming. Long Island, I know. idea to wear those. I could potentially ruin the uniforms underneath. Hey. Stick around for a couple more pipe bands. It's been great. Part of that college.
keep saying I'll stick around for one more pipe band, but they just keep coming. This poor mass of people park this group. there signaling players to stop all right i got 2 15 p.m i think now's the time to go it's been wonderful absolutely wonderful it's great to see st patrick's day parade back in new york city again hopefully it'll continue every year ad infinitum god bless st patrick